This video is about mounting a prop shaft onto a split pigtail bearing. Many uh, model airplanes have a uh, aluminum split pigtail bearing like this uh, penny plane uh, fuselage. You can see that it's been mounted on a spacer block uh, beneath the motor stick and then held with thread and CA. So the bearing has, it's basically a, a U-shaped piece of aluminum that has been um, machined and it has a very tiny hole in the front arm and uh, a split flange set up on the rear arm with a tiny uh, hole formed or half hole formed in each side of the flange. And this enables you to um, mount a, uh, a prop shaft. In this case, it's 20 thousandths. Um, here is a penny plane prop. And uh, I'm going to demonstrate how to um, mount this. So you can see it has sort of a upturned um, edge on the uh, end of the prop shaft. That's for holding... Uh, a, a tube or sleeve over the rubber motor and preventing it from going too far forward. Sometimes if the rubber motor is too long you will end up with bunching problems in the front and sometimes near the rear hook and you can use spacers or sleeves to alleviate that problem. So I know it's counterintuitive but you would reverse the prop first and then stick the little leg. It's really hard for me here but uh, see if I can do it. I have to get closer. It's got it in there, you can see. And then basically you thread it around that loop. You do this very gently, of course. Now I've gotten it back here. So here is where I want to adjust the orientation in that direction so that I can seat that in there and thread it in. And there we have it. Of course the tension of the rubber band is going to hold that. I can remove the prop just by reversing those steps. I hope I kept this in focus. The same uh, approach applies to any plane that has this pigtail type bearing. Um, We've used them in Science Olympiad Wright stuff, and this year in the 2023 flight event, some planes have the pigtail bearing. Um, it's beneficial because you can uh, adjust the uh, thrust angle by bending those arms carefully. Uh, the, th the thrust angle, you want zero down thrust and zero up thrust, typically in an indoor duration plane. This uh, I don't know if you can see it here, but this thrust bearing has been uh, mounted with about two degrees of left turn. Uh, and that's appropriate for an indoor plane of this type. And that was done with a uh, very careful trigonet, tri tri trigonet metric. I can't use the word correctly. Uh, I used a calculator, a trig calculator on the internet to get the distance, I think I held up uh, a, sh a piece of 047 music wire against the bearing and raised the other end, oh, about uh, a quarter or three-eighths of an inch, as I recall, about 10 inches down, and that set the angle precisely. You can't really do it by um, um, appearance. And uh, that concludes the video.